Managed to get what I could into David's spare freezer, but these pies are defrosting faster than the ice caps. I mean, look at the state of them. Well, can't you do something? You know, cook them quick. The oven's gas, right? All right, right, and then what? Some on the front steps yelling second-rate pies for sale. They're ruined. Actually, strike that. We're ruined. Come on! Where's your blitz spirit? I'm going home, Charles. I can't be around this. I can't... Paddy? You off on a call-out? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Don't suppose you fancy a bit of company, do you? Kind of miss being a full-time vet, if I'm honest. <laughs> that sounds really good, but... Um... But you don't want to be seen with a crazy lady who attacks people in the street? No, I, I didn't say that. Oh, why not? It's true, isn't it? Oh, Paddy. Should have controlled my temper instead of flying off the handle like that. And now, look, not only is Marlon worried about April and ready to walk away from the business, I'm up for assault! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, the last thing you need is me dumping all my problems on you. No. That's what friends are for. I don't even know where to begin to try and put things right, Paddy. It was the heat of the moment and I just snapped. Maybe Brenda's right, you know, maybe I do need to be held to account for my actions. Sorry, I'm doing it again. Please, just go to your calls. It's nothing I wish I couldn't put off, believe me. Do you ever wonder how you'd do things differently if you could go back and start again? Yeah, like, all the time. But the only thing we can change is the future, right? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, if there's anything I can do to help. I'm fine. Honestly, I should go. Yeah, of course. Thanks for listening. I didn't mean to burden you. You haven't burdened me. If anything, you've helped me make my mind up about a few things. Rona, we'll figure this mess out. You'll see. Well, things weren't too bad today, were they? Everyone still hurts me. Well, I don't. All loads of other people. I don't know which is worse. Going to school or having Dad on my case every five minutes. No, he's just worried about you. Now, every day will get better. You'll see. You go home, love. I need a quick word with April. What are you going to say? Well, whatever it takes to let her know that I still care about her. Well, we all do, right? April, love, just, just wait. My dad told you to stay away from me. Yeah, I know, but I'm your granddad. Surely we can find a way of sorting this out. You're very special to me, April, you know that. I miss you so much. Why is she staring at me? Won't she ever leave me alone? Cathy, I, I said go home, love. I'll, I'll catch up with you. It's not going to change anything, is it? Ah, this is where you're hiding. You might want to get that. I don't know exactly what's happened, but... I think the pub might have been broken into. The police are there now. Oh, my... So yet another thing is wrong. I... I really don't need this. No, but maybe Chaz needs you. Right now, all I care about is April. Just wish Bob would leave us alone. Is she still up in her bedroom? Won't come out, won't let me in. Listen, I know this is probably the last thing you want to hear, but we live in a small village, hmm? And if we don't find a way through this, then the damage is going to be irreparable. I'm worried it's already too late for April. Like, all this has changed her somehow. She's, like, lost her. An innocence she'll never get back. Just give her time. With our love and support, she will get through this, I promise. How can you be so sure? Because she's got you. You really should get that. Look, I'll stay with April. We'll be fine, I promise. One day. That's all I ask. One day where something actually goes right. Paddy, 